Hello and welcome everybody back to the League of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Kappa Blood here and we are continuing with Anno 1800. In the last episode we focused a little bit on our production for the artisans, uh, making sure that we have canned food and sewing machines for everyone. But of course we are missing a few certain goods. And as we can slowly see on the lighting, the sun is rising. I don't have all I need for my canvas. And that is great. So, and, yeah, I was being stupid here, okay, that is, that actually explains a lot. Um, a couple of episodes, I demolished our glass production, and that was, uh, not very clever, actually. So for now, I will uh, keep here a little glass production. Yeah, of course, we are not going to have any glasses. We are not going to have champagne. So we need a few more glass makers. And before we can do anything else. And I must admit, I really love uh, that we now have a day-night cycle in the game. Yeah. I really love it. So, what are we going to do in this episode? We are going to focus on the production of rum and fur coats. And in the episode after that, we will ensure uh, we will start with the uh, production lines for the engineers. And once they are done, I'm not going. Uh, I'm not going to go straight for the um, investor houses. Um, for it's the investor productions, because I want to redesign the city. I'm still interested in seeing how we can. Uh, decorate our zoo, our museum, and so on. I want to align them properly and prepare them for the sets. So I'm actually going to sacrifice even some of our influence. And yeah. But I also wanted to check something out first. I mean, what we can buy from time to time, I hope, at least. Yeah, Yellow Daisy Garden. I already want to buy at least some decorations. About. So that we can use them later and don't have to wait until we get them. Uh, okay, okay, now the texture has loaded still. That looks a little bit weird how it's clipping into the building. That is usually not how you do it. Yeah, because later when we can build our stuff, I mean, as you found out in the last episode, there are decoration buildings. But we need to have specific items for them. But a lot of them look very close to each other. Channel bridge. Yeah, I want to build a channel. How about that? I mean, you could build here like seven channel bridges. But without a channel, that would be worthless. Yeah, that will be very interesting. So, but first, let's get some influence back. Now, here is a vital matter of Queen. No, I'm not going to help you because I don't want to do that quest. I just want to buy stuff. Accept it. The quest has to wait. The Admiral, the Royal Seal upon I want to decide when to start the DLC. I'm not more you. flexible than you imagined. You're constant, and that is key. Flagship awaiting instructions. The royal seal upon it. Oh wait, that is not what I wanted. Game save. Cargo stations. I can finally let go that pent-up gas. Oh yeah, I forgot how funny he is. Customs and excise, eh? Hmm. 
Good thing we don't have to care about money. Hi, hi. More flexible than you imagined. All in Her Majesty's name. Boat at the ready. I can finally let go that pent up gas. I, I wonder if a writer feels proud about these jokes. New orders. More flexible than you imagined. I, I can finally let go that pent up gas. Okay, then. Your pleasure. All in Her Majesty's name. So that should do it Attention. from that side. A fire broke up. An explosion in one of your factories. Uh, because I got nothing better to do. Hmm. Oh well then. Don't touch. Okay, so here we can also get some stuff like the hibiscus garden and so on. Uh, we are going to do that later because, well, we need to finish that production and we got some some gardens for stuff to use. Okay. So now, <coughs> so now that we are happy with our industry here, time for the next step. We need to take care about our rum production. So time to go to the new world. Yeah, I don't want to have... E Ah, uh, here it is, so global population. I'm going to uh, put these numbers into our wares calculator. And again, I'm going for heavy overproduction and stuff like that. So instead of 4,000 journal errors, let's say we have 6,000. Because I also need to know how much rum they are consuming. The fire has been vanquished. Yeah, 6,000 is a bit much. Maybe let's go for 5,000. 24 rum productions. Wow. That is uh, quite a lot. And let's see. So, our rum production, we have two and one. Okay. We have six here. 12 here. So, we have 18. We are not there yet. We have 18, but we could need a bit more. Hmm. No more space here. The people celebrate your leadership. How am I going to handle this? I mean, we are definitely having a heavy overproduction here. Totally forgot about that. Room to maneuver. Oh, and you guys are very unhappy. 
shack. Why are you a little more? Okay, maybe here we should just upgrade the roads a little bit. So that reduces the issue a little bit. It's not a blue sky for me. Oh yeah, they're running out of ponchos. The thing is that the islands are structured in a way that makes it really hard to um, just make a production island for rum, for example. And I don't want to streamline the production here completely yet. There's something that we can do later. We'll see how well that works. First, I'm going to increase our rum production a little bit. I will create a trade route that transports rum throughout all our um, throughout all our colonies. Yeah, it's also also a shame that we have no commuter pier available here. Because that would have been useful, especially considering how these islands have rivers and stuff like that. So come on, be quick. If I find there is anything wrong. If I find that you are not shutting up, I'm In going to time. mute you. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I can only mute all characters. Which is a goddamn shame. It's slowly getting dark. And it just looks beautiful. I mean, I was already impressed about how they did it in Anno 2205. But this is just plain awesome. Okay, so we have 18. I need 6 more. But I already built the wood production for that. Or maybe another one just in case. I need to be a bit careful about our Jonalero workforce. Okay then, and... Alright, I forgot, we also need sugar for our chocolate production. Game saved. So, six more plantations it is. I'm pretty sure we can do that without wasting too much space. No 
fields, no work. So now we need two more. It's all prepared. You yeah, yeah. radiant as ever. No changes. Do your thing, really? dear editor. But, but don't to? expect me to start respecting your this craft. This city is a magnet for genius. Why always at the same time? Can't you randomize the timing for that? Seriously, game. Yeah, uh, thank you, Fire Chief Mills. I have no idea who you are, what you are, what you can do. Equip the town hall, firefighters plus one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, back to the new world. Hmm. Bring us the horizon where the fire of freedom rises. Okay, I know, I know, I know that you don't like it when I'm sound a little bit annoyed, but that is annoying. Here, yeah, have your fun. One step closer to freedom. We are running oh, low cool. on everything. A as monitor, usual. only three hundred and fifty thousand. Where the admiral? I just bought it because I like the ship. Not because I really need it. Okay then, and... I'm seeing it correctly, we can... No room's full, boss. Just move this one unit forward. You should go sit in the shade, boss. Okay, then. Now we got our additional six. Now we need six rum distilleries. Festival has ended. So, because of a risk of explosion, you are also going to get here some additional fire watches. Oh, of course, I can't afford the building materials. I So we need a if few more journaleros. I wouldn't be a rebel if I settled for this. We are fine. So that should do the trick in long term. And what we also need is a larger storage capacity. Which we are apparently not getting in this hour. Game save. Okay, so that should. Give us a little bit more lean way for our roads. Okay, and 
you already work properly. Which leads me to a question, do we need more ships on that route? Okay, here we have rum, here we have rum, and here we don't even need it anymore, so now we also have the capacity to supply all our people in the colonies, because that is what was mostly annoying. The oh. ambulance is you guys possible. are unhappy. Oh, you know what, dear investors, nobody cares. Because you're right now not important. So, and here we can now have our Irish gun. If I recall correctly, they have the exact same size as modules. Why can't I build you? You know, building permits, I have them in my storage, right? Adds new options for pathway ornaments to your cultural buildings, destroyed after use. Okay, yeah, I, I understand. So, Camellia Garden, how does that work? Hibiscus Garden, Camellia Garden. Hmm, it doesn't register that I have them. For some weird reason. That makes me now a bit sad, but okay. Um, fur coats. The next important thing. At the moment, we have our fur coat production over here. Um... Yeah, three productions, running with electricity, but uh, since we want to have a little overproduction, we need four of them. Okay, so we're going to build all four of them I'm here. confident it's ready to go. The idiot is back. It's yeah, the idiot is back. To be true and to slowly one's... being annoyed by you, so please stop. Now the question is, which part of a production would be ideal? We're in the Honey. presence of a virtuoso. Oh yeah, I forgot. Now comes everything. And 1404 did that so much better. Because it did not force me to actively collect everyone. Okay, so again, we need eight of them running. Actually, seven. So now we basically got eight. Mm. Now of course we need two hunters each. How many hunters do I have right now? Ten. I need six more. And it's getting dark again. Dark and gloomy. I just love it. There's no other way to say it. I love what they did with the lighting. Also that the nights are not that long. Game save. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay, now we got 16 on this island, and I know not all of them, not all of them are running at 100% efficiency, but that is okay. Could be worse. What brings you here, master? So the next thing that we need is cotton. No question is, where do I get my cotton? I get it from our main colony over here. Cotton fabrics. Okay, do we have other productions that need cotton? Because otherwise, I might be in trouble. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, and we need three more uh, cotton productions, which is an issue. Do we have an item that would work here for us? Only 7% more, okay, that's not really helpful. It might be that I even have to colonize a new island. Seems a little bit like it. I don't like it. Okay, time to go here. I hope I don't need steel for that one Take to settle. Oh, yeah, we could actually make this one our cotton island. Or even that one? I don't know. So many options. For s certainly not that one. Because of the rivers. And it will only be our cotton island in the long run. Not in the, not in the quick run. So let's see if we need steel. If yes, we can still get steel here from that. And we do need steel. Typical. So how ex Okay, the amount of workforce that they need is acceptable. Meaning that I wouldn't even have to build a city on that island. I could just make it our cotton island. I mean, our bonus uh, is strong enough that we get 200 workforce each. Ready for a challenge. Okay then. Mm. Cotton, where to begin? Uh, I guess we should already start here. So we need three additional cotton mills. Meaning we need six cotton plantations. One, two, Game three, four, five, six. One, two, changes, three, and oh, you shut up. Compromising journalism. I. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. <sighs> If the developers didn't think of that themselves, that this might just be low-key annoying. I mean, 
mean, I can tell that it the is. The land has to be prepared first. Come to watch. So. I guess we do want to fill out every bit back here. The people celebrate your leadership. But people are right now not important to your game. What is important is that I get all the cotton that we need. some space left for further expansion later okay then so trade route uh, first cotton trade route uh, which is supposed to be in 03 I don't want to go to Abaja but also to Aria Preta and there you will also load in cotton fabric But he won't bring that to Kebab Town. But instead, to industry. So, accept. And first, are instead to Kebab Town, brought to. This is also an O3. Also brought to industry. And you will also get an additional ship, except. And now we can go for our fur coats and. Accept. So that should now hopefully do the trick. We see how that turns out in the long term. I mean, at the moment, I'm just happy that we have Still this here working. For it to arrive. Now, come on, you may have missing goods for now, but not for much longer. Horizons. Game save. Oh. Now I see what I did there. That was for the entire time the wrong building. Okay, good thing I noticed it in the end by myself. So now that works. So our cotton mills are working. much is being hunted on this island. So, and we can now 
finally get rid of these three. It's a little bit dated. And with that, we should now have the artisan productions finished. Really? You are rich and you don't need fur coats? I think you're lying here. Now the question is, of what are we going to take a thumbnail and... Yeah, we're going for that one. Yeah, that looks good. So, and for that, the episode is over. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. If um, if yes, then please consider giving me a thumbs up on this video. It's always a great feedback for me. It helps keeping me motivated. If you have uh, any direct feedback or just yeah something you want to say, then uh, just write it down in the comment section. I will make sure to read all the comments. And yeah, if you want to uh, connect directly with me or the community, you may also join our community Discord. You'll find an invitation link in the video description below. And as always, sorry for that, um, if you want to get notified whenever I upload something new, then just make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and have notifications activated. And yeah, in the next episode, we start with the first goods of the engineers and I can already imagine me hating, uh, hating every bit of it. But that is an entirely different story. So, with that, we are going to wrap up here. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time in NO1800. Bye bye. Fire broke out. Oh. Okay, here, so. Oh yeah, goodbye. <laughs>